there a better sport? Ask anybody in this building, and the answer is no, it's boxing. As the challenger walks first, Urbano Antion of Maywood, California, had his title try and failed in his only loss. Stopped in nine by Miguel Acosta last year. But now his third fight under Abel Sanchez has reinvigorated him according to talks we've had and the 10 year pro says <laughs> he is ready for this challenge against Humberto Soto. Obviously he would say that. But the former 2000 National Golden Glove champion from Maywood and a 10 year pro his second title try again rich it's now or never well I think he's got a lot of fans here tonight who have come here from uh, Maywood to see uh, their hero and I think he has a real chance in there tonight and I expect him to put on a willful performance where he's going to go forward and try to take this crown from Umberto Soto in the most physical manner possible that would be it the only way he knows and they've tried to put little touches on him defensively to not get hit so much and here's a man who is as precise a puncher as you'll see Umberto Soto 53 7 and 2 32 KOs the WBC lightweight champion making his third title defense this year so over 60 fights and at age 30 He's as busy as any. He beat David Diaz for the Viking, vacant title this past March. A former WBC 130 pound champion. He's won six of seven world championship fights. A 13 year pro has won nine in a row. And of those seven losses, four of them came in his first 20 fights. The 42 since he has been nearly unstoppable. And of course that one fight that he did lose before the winning streak was, it was bogus, that let's was. face it, you know, the, he was disqualified in a fight that he basically had scored a knockout victory in. But he is a disciplined, focused, one of the best champions around. You know, nothing spectacular, but everything well done is Humberto Soto. The two fighters actually hug at center ring, most unusual, not just a nod or a touching of the gloves, they actually hugged at center ring. It's an immense show of respect as we're about to get it on in our wind up bout here on Top Rank Pay Per View. And Michael Buffer has the official introductions now. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Honda Center, Anaheim, California, USA, Bob Arum's Top Rank Boxing presents with pride the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC lightweight championship of the world. Sponsored by Tecate Cerveza con Carácter and sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Chairman John Frierson, Vice Chairman Christopher Giza, Executive Officer George Dodd, WBC President Jose Suleiman. This bell presented in association with Zanford Promotions. At ringside, the three judges scoring on the 10-point system are Marty Denkin, Alan Krebs, and Alejandro Rochin. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, referee Ray Corona. And now, for all the fans in attendance here at the Honda Center and the millions watching, around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with silver, official weight, 135 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one, 28 victories, including 20 knockouts, only one defeat. Fighting out of Maywood, California, the challenger, Urbano Antion. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing red with silver, 
officially weighing in at 134, three quarter pounds. His professional record, 53 victories, including 32 knockouts, seven defeats, two bouts even, from Los Mochis, Mexico. Three time world champion, the reigning, defending WBC lightweight champion of the world, Humberto Zorita Soto. Yeah, hey, this is a little high, huh? So right here, aquí está bien, huh? Mira, this is good right here. Escucha me, listen to my commands. God bless. Urbano Antion says, this is what I've been waiting for all my life. To get the goal that he's been waiting for all his life, he's going to have to beat a multifaceted champion here tonight. Yeah, you know, Mexican legend, but again, this is his second shot at a title, and I would say, you know, he would be out of attempts if he fails here, depending on how it looks. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Gennaro Hernandez calls this a dead even fight. Yeah, we've all, I mean, I've known Urbano since he was the age of 11 years old. And uh, I mean, he's, he's, he's brought, been brought up technically wise to a certain level. And then he decided to jump ship and go to a different trainer. So I don't know what they've been input on him. But we all know that Humberto Sorita is no amateur. He's been in the dream with all kinds of fighters, so he knows what he's got to well, do. Right now, he is pouring the heat on the champion, as expected. You know, he could box, but he'd much rather brawl as he steps to Soto, but not behind that solid jab that we that he promised. I think the style of the fight is already set. It is. I think it was set in the first 30 seconds. Who can execute the game plan better, though? Well, Soto's the precise puncher. And he seems to always be in that position to land shots. And, th and this is a typical fight of, of Urbano right here. Woo! He yeah. wants to go in there and put pressure and, and land good body shots. He works very well to the body. He covers up pretty good. But the one thing that he's vulnerable is that right uppercut. Yeah, and uh, that got him knocked out. But now he's... Uh, Again, walking to the champion, but they're all power shots. This is a sizzling first round. I don't know if Soto would like this fast of a pace. And then Urbano Antion is Whoa. successful in crowding. And a headbutt. And that is the type of fight that Urbano does. Urbano's even in the getting gym. mean. He's he does getting that mean. all the time. He'll yep. do whatever he can to take to try to impose his will, and that's good. Yeah, you know, it's worked for him very well. Rich, you're right. Soto, I think it's a little too torrid for his liking. But here comes Soto with blistering combination. And they're all punches right up the middle. Yeah, all crowd had look for that uppercut. You're right. That was a beautiful combination, and Soto may be forced into a situation where maybe he's uncomfortable and he has to fight, but that doesn't mean he can't fight. Absolutely. He can. Some guys get out of their comfort zone. They don't have weapons. This guy does. Oh, wow. It's a slip. That was, that was a takedown. Yes. He's in the wrong spot. Soto, I'm looking at him. He yeah, got up his face. slowly. He didn't. His face. I mean, uh, he, you know, I think he was bargaining for a slightly slower pace. But everybody, as Gennaro alluded to, knows how Antion fights. Oh yes. Very strong combinations from both men, though. There's that hand good, speed from Soto. Good hand speed, good hook. Oh, and look how he shifts and changes position. Low blow. And, and, and that's not the first low blow. Okay, I've been Ray, seeing oh, a couple Ray of low shots. On it. Yes, Ray Carano with a warning already. Oh, what a first round this is, 20 seconds to go. Serious heat from Urbano Antion in the silver and black as he comes forward in the exchange and the champion fighting off the ropes now. Look for the uppercut again as Soto tried to land it there before the bell and another combination as he landed a solid right hand and a left it's all to up the, the jaw. All up the middle. Oh, the crowd loves it. I hope you do. We did. What happened to that feel out first round? <laughs> I don't believe it ever. <laughs> I guess when you reach when you reach a certain level, you're not going to do it. How did you feel them? We're gonna, what we're going to do, we're going to change the, our pattern. We're going to do a step back and counter him. Make sure that you're ready when you inside. All right. Here we go right over here. Yeah. Keep it up, good job. 
here we see some action of the first round here where obviously we see the takedown right here where he almost, that could have been a broken yep. arm right there. He could have yeah, snapped his absolutely. arm off right there. He had an arm lock on him. What a pace to this first round. And here comes some of the action where there's a low blow right there by Rubano. The referee oh, tells Rubano to pick it up. You hit, you hit the important note in translating uh, Gennaro. They want the champion to step back and counter these bull rushes. Correct. They want him to take a half step back yes. and, and make sure that Rubano falls short. That way he counter with some shots. He definitely knows how to do it. Catch him falling in. But Antion with his guard up. He did eat some uppercuts there Where down the stretch in round one. Antion now getting on the jab. Another jab. And that's going to make it more difficult for Soto. And there's a headbutt as well right there. Good, good counter right here by... By yeah. Soto with a combination in as he finds the openings, threading the needle between the gloves here. But Antion wants a brawl, and he's got one. That's it. That's exactly right. Let me tell you something. Soto is an excellent technician. He's a stylist in there. But Urbano Antion wants to rough him up. He wants to make it appear sixer. If yeah. he has to foul him here and there, if he has to throw him against Look the ropes, the, whatever. The, throw him off balance. Those shots are to the leg. Oh, good shot right. Left foot. I mean, left foot. Oh, those uppercuts are so. landing from the champion. The uppercuts are finding a home, but Antion will not be denied. He runs in. He's leaning into shots now to land that right cross. And he got hurt with that right hand. His Absolutely. legs broken right there. Soto, this is the best of so far of the lightweight Soto that I've seen. This is more a throwback Boy. to his great power that he had as a junior lightweight. He's carried it just fine against a guy who so far will not go away. We know that from Urbano Antion. Antion eats another right hand, raised hit the side of the temple. Now Soto gets on the jab. He'll change direction here. Oh, another headbutt right there. And Ray Corona's caught them all. It's gonna be very rough. Antion is making it appear sixer. That's what he wants. He loves to be inside, he loves to trade, and in this case, he feels he needs to just get Soto off rhythm. But Soto's had a big round, in my opinion, here, as he's taken that half step back, as he's caught the challenger leaning and walking into a lot of shots. Look at Soto in a neutral corner as he slips out and scores before that. What a professional he is. He's just a pleasure to watch if you love boxing, you love a technician. One of the most precise punchers, but he eats a left hand and another low blow. So the low blow right there again. The oh. referee not saying nothing about it. But you know what? Antione is doing what he needs to do. Get in there and rough him up That's a little bit. Rich said, you gotta yes. rough him up. Here comes Antione blasting away. Here come the uppercuts. They're not really deterring Soto, but those are solid shots that are landing, and he's picking up points. But the way this is going, how could it possibly go 12? And you've got to remember, too, while Soto is able to withstand this now, this is only the second round. I'm saying, how could it go 12? Stop the bell, gentlemen. Wow, what a round scintillating action here as Soto, in my opinion, wins it handily. Wow, how the crowd loves it. He landed a very, some couple of good shots that actually I think stung Urbano. Okay, oh, I agree. That. We'll see if we pick it up. Last 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Okay, so let me feel the round for you, okay? Now, when you get on the inside, I want to see some combination with the shot here. Make this a prep shot. Sizzling action in round two. Urbano Antion getting the fight at the distance that he wants, right inside, ripping to the body, coming over the top to the head. These can be debilitating punches later on, but Soto is so precise and so fresh right now that he can land these short inside punches at this point. If this thing gets to round seven or round eight, that may not be the case. Again, yeah. there's another low blow and a, <laughs> and and a, a headbutt. Head All right, 2001. <laughs> this fight is flying by. <laughs> it is flying as we hit the third. Uh, of course, a title fight, and first one off the stool is the champion, the 30-year-old. Go! Humberto oh, Soto, but look at Urbanto Ante and run to him and it's land and sink head. a left hook to the body and now to the head. And Soto's backing up, but he's one of the few who could fight backing up beautifully. Look at him drop a uppercut, left and then a right uppercut. Counter punch from the champion as his punches are landing. And Antion is trying to avoid him. Oh, they want him inside. Up. This is where Abel Sanchez wants him landing those shots to the head. 
Look at the champion counterpunch. That uppercut is becoming a tremendous weapon for Soto inside now. And so is that left hook there as he created a little space. But Antion eats another left hook. And an uppercut continues to come forward. Soto trying to rock him back as the challenger is absolutely relentless. Well, this is sensational stuff. Oh, wow. I say it again, guys. Uppercut from Soto. Right cross from the challenger, Antio. As Soto drops a right over the top and a left of the body. Left of the body again and a straight right from Antio. What an exciting fight. Both, both of them are kind of getting a little dirty now. Martino has actually been pushing it with his head and, look, and with those low blows to the body, which the referee hasn't been able to set the catch or and say anything about. As they say in the game, pressure breaks pipes, man, right? But look at the pressure put on now by the champion. He's not waiting to counter. Oh, what a good lift. Antion is just walking into shots. But Soto, again, threading the needle. He's finding every opening. And that's what the precision comes in. Somewhere up there, Diego Corrales is looking down on this fight and smiling. Yes. Antion could take a shot, but Soto could sure deliver. Soto and Red backs off a little bit. You know, has there really been a break except for a low blow or a warning from Ray Corona? These guys haven't stopped, and the referee hasn't had to break them once. Watch the back of the head. Watch the back of the head. Soto warned for hitting behind the head. Ray Corona on top of these guys. This is vicious two-way action. But Soto with another big round so far. Oh, these seconds are just moving by. Blistering action and blistering back. Soto's becoming the body puncher here. He's really launching a downstairs attack. And it's effective. It's slowing up Antion. Fabulous job as he's driven the challenger back. Antion's got to be careful. He's going to run into a big shot. There is no let up from either man through three rounds. Nine sensational minutes. I don't, I don't want you, you're doing very well moving, but be careful, don't, don't, be sure that you don't make mistakes. How are you feeling? Because a good counter punch by Urbano, good combination thrown by Humberto Soto. And I love the uppercut by Soto in close, but Antion right back on him, throwing to the body. Now later on in the round, we saw Soto become suddenly the body puncher, and that really kind of, I think, surprised Antion. There he goes with that left hook to the body, very nicely done. And then he opened up with a flurry against the ropes that kind of doubled up Antion. I'll tell you. We have seen nine minutes of rage here. Yeah. Soto, they don't want him. Uh, Romulo Karate Jr. doesn't want him to run into something and, and, and get stupid, as they say. But I'll tell you one thing I love about Soto. Even though it's only the fourth and this pace is so blistering hot, he is so physically strong and always well conditioned. That equals hard to beat when you throw in all the talents he has. But you know, since he became a lightweight, he's fought at a much more measured pace, a much more technical fighter, and he's got he's had what I would consider pretty comfortable fights. This fight, he's been forced to fight, and he's been more than up he's, to it. Oh, so has far. he answered the bell. More body shots from the man in red, Soto the champion. Antheon continues to barrel forward. Pins his head to the shoulder of the champion. Unloads, short shots inside. But Soto is blocking most of those, wrapping up the challenger, moving back, and fighting on the run. He, he looks like he's taking a little break right now. Roberto Soto's just actually kind of moving away, not really throwing many punches. Right now he threw a double jab, and that's all he threw. The Bono Antion's game plan coming in was to be on him for 12 rounds. Be in his face for 12 rounds. Can he do it? So far, the answer is yes. But we're only in the fourth. Lead right hand from Antion. And you're right, uh, Gennaro Soto has backed off. He eats a left hook there. He stopped punching, really. 
Ubano has a very good jab, but he doesn't really utilize Absolutely. it as much, you know. Absolutely. Combination from Soto, taken on the gloves by Antion. Most of them double jab there from uh, Antion. Power left hook back from the champion. Soto, right hand, left hook. And they're all being blocked by Urbano's defense. Urbano's doing very well. Right now he got caught with a good jab, but he's doing very well. Oh, then a right cross. Caught some face. Soto not getting ahead of himself. Couple of low blows, blows there again. Another low blow. How many times are we going to get a warning? A headbutt as well. And Antion with the rough stuff. You see the shoulder coming in, the elbow a little bit. Trying to land the uppercut. Soto looking for the uppercut now as they're in close. Soto on the ropes, and he eats a left hand as uh, Antion unloads that hook in close. And Antion is a handful, isn't he? I mean, oh, oh yeah. man. And you're looking at, you, I mean, everybody's looking at everything else, but you know, you're not looking at the fact that Urbano is using his head to escape, or to put pressure on the face oh, of. Oh, but he's getting Urbano. hit. He's getting hit now. It's a very close round, but. And you're right, Antion taking a lot of those shots on the gloves, but Soto is another low blow. That That's another low blow right there. Right. He's going to take a point time, next time. Last time, come on, let's go. You're going to step in the bell. All right, who finishes better here in the fourth of a very close round? And Rich, I'll ask you, who, who do you give that round to? Well, I thought. Soto clearly won the last minute, but I Me thought too. that Antion won the round. I would agree with you, Rich. I believe that Antion did win this round. Was that his first round uh, yes. that he won? I believe so. I'm with you. As we listen in. Now, Soto has been such a sharpshooter in this fight. There's that nice overhand right countering over the left hand. And then watch the combinations of Soto. He launches a fusillade of punches here. They don't all land, but they're eye-catching and they're breathtaking when he throws them. And one thing that we've seen tonight from Soto is a very educated uppercut, whether it was just a little short one, as you saw there, six inches, or whether uh, he really reels, rears back. Rich, he doesn't waste a punch, you know? And my gosh, he's thrown probably 250 punches through four rounds, but he wastes nothing, hey, he and he's still moving. all action. That's good. And we Stop. know the challenger in black Bobby. is. Look at Antion run to him again. Keep those, those shots up. And they're warning Ray Corona with a verbal warning. Now keep those shots up. Antion now takes Soto to a neutral corner. Soto physically strong, as we said, tries to Stop. push him back. Take a step back, Ramos. That's one of the first breaks we've seen. And uh, Soto now changes direction very quickly, and he's on Antion. Antion with another belt line shot. Antion missing with that shot, his chin's there. So watch for a Soto counter punch. And I'm not surprised that Antione is really putting up a tremendous battle here. He was energized, basically, in his training for this fight. He's yes. truly motivated, and he feels energized by his change to Abel Sanchez, who he feels has just been a good person and has created a better environment for him to work. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing, that if he wasn't motivated for a world title fight, then he shouldn't be in this sport. <laughs> Anybody who gets a world title fight needs to be motivated and get to work and be prepared, and that's what he has right now. He's prepared, he's motivated, and you can see it in him that he wants to win this fight. Oh, as he barrels forward again, and look at that left hook connect to the champion's jaw. Soto in red, hasn't thrown a lot of punches. He's looking for that right uppercut, and he finds a home there. Nice call, Nick. He, was, he well, was looking for it. You're absolutely right. He's just such a selective puncher, and he doesn't panic, Rich. Boy, if you want to study boxing, watch Humberto Soto win or lose this fight. You know something? I've been hearing this guy calling out for big names for the last five years. I want the big names. I want the big fights. And a lot of those big names have conveniently looked the other way. Isn't that We're a good point? Why. But Urbano's been hitting Humberto Soto to the body that actually is look that Urbano's actually stunning those shots. He's trying to, he's trying to take effect on him. And Tion in black walking to the champion who grazes the ropes, continues to change direction. And again, it's now fighting low. 
Oh, the oh, blow, no, 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 there's the uppercuts, glancing blows though from Soto. Straight right hand from the champion. Oh, another one. And here it's gonna be a point. It's gonna be a point. The thing is, is that time he hit the arm and I thought the punch yeah, was gonna be good and yeah, pushed it Very true. Well, it's payback for the last one low blow. One point, no. And that's, that's, okay, so come in. You know, that's lethal now. Antione had, you know, he's a body puncher, but now he's falling dangerously behind. I thought that punch was going to be legal, but it hit the arm, which kind of drove it down low. Okay, time in. Let's go, good dog. Let's go, time in. Antion, let's see if he continues to work the body. Antion needs to fight back and win this round now to make nice. sure it's a so lead. Yeah, get a nine, nine seconds. out of it. But I don't think it's going to happen as Soto closes with a blistering flurry. Oh, and he kind of staggered him a little bit, but he was off balance. He stole that two. round. He stole that round. Definitely did. And now, you know, became a, with the point deduction, 10-8. Here comes some of the oh. fouls. You know, there's one right there. The yeah. referee, obviously. Right. And there's a headbutt there, unintentionally. Okay, there's a couple of, you know, throw downs there. Good work for our crew. Look at this sequence of events. Yeah, you're seeing everything. You're seeing this all is all the shots there. This and is rough stuff. And these are some of the shots that the referee hasn't caught until right now. And he felt, and there's that low blow there. And he drew so many warnings that finally he took the point away. In the fifth, as we head to the sixth. I can't keep up. <laughs> we should. There we go. Some of the action on the on the previous round. At the end of the round, Look how Umberto Soto, said. to me, believed to have stolen the round with them. And, and Umberto was really feeling his oats there a little bit at yes. the end of the round. He it suddenly was, had a look of confidence. That was a stare down. Urbano Antion. Oh, he starts with a body shot. That he left hook. Didn't want to say hi to him. <laughs> he just buried it. He just walked to him and launched that left. What an ombre, right? Oh, good left hook by Urbano right there. And Antion now is fighting with real intent again, and he's landing. He was telling me that he was in great shape. He's showing that he's in great shape. He's actually taking some hard shots. Good body shot right there. Good uppercut by Urbano Soto right there. You know, let me tell you something. I think that... He got it good. There's a good blood. Right. There's blood now. Accidental headbutt. Cut. Accidental it's an accidental headbutt. headbutt. Ray Corona calls it accidental headbutt. Accidental headbutt, accidental. And that makes you. the situation more dire for Antion because it's it seemingly uh, he is behind, well behind on points. Good right hand right there. Stepped to the side by Roberto Soto. He made a miss, Ronald made him, I mean, Roberto made a Ronald miss, but he didn't counter him right away. Work, oh, there, stop, there's stop. that dirty tactics. Take a step back, we lost. What? Approaching the halfway mark, six rounds of a 12 rounder. How can they go at this pace? You know, the funny thing is, is Antion is falling behind on points, but I believe he's fighting the right fight. He Absolutely is fighting the right, right fight. He is Look how right. rough. He's landed some shots, and there was another low blow that slipped by undetected, a right hand, but that left hook is getting in. There it is again, and Soto's getting back up and not able to launch any offense, but there he turns and tries to fire a right. And here connects with a right hand. Uh, Good uppercut. body shot by Urbano. Antion cannot stop the uppercut. Antion having a big round, which and he needs. Soto can land that uppercut all night long. And, and, and it could be an evening ending shot. You know, it's got power. But Antion, I say, having another low blow round. right there. That was a low blow, and the referee told him to keep him up. I don't know what he's waiting for. Soto taking shots, but answering big. But Antion standing right in front of him to give back. 45 seconds to go in this heated sixth round. Antion walking forward like now he finally paused at that cut. Oh, good oh, right hand. Right. Good right hands from Antion as he shows us more in the arsenal. That left hook's landed. This is a huge, good, 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 good. huge sixth round for the challenger. But here comes the champion scrapping back with a combination. A show of machismo respect from Soto. 
Let me tell you, when I see courage and bravery like this and I'm sitting ringside, I start to feel real small it's very and humbling. <laughs> very humbling. Urbano Antion. Jump off. Fights his way back big time. And look at the way Umberto's walking. He's walking, taking his time, slowly yes. walking back. Well, the body shots, the low blows. They're finally taking a fake. Let's listen in. Just a tremendous fight there. Antheon digging punches to the body, getting Soto at the distance where he wants, up against the ropes, exactly where he wants him. Soto's been good up against the ropes, though. He's landed a number of uppercuts. You see one there. He's actually fought very well inside. And, you know, he's going to have to fight. We said he's going to have to fight. There was the head button. You saw the blood start to spurt. Antion, completely undeterred, though. A relentless. What cut is what the way he was acting. What cut? Let's see where that cut is. If it's above, that's a little bit of a problem, and it looks like it is. But, yeah, Rich, what a round. Well, it's right. Yeah, it's even worse. It's right on the lid. And it's not that big of a cut. Antion... A big advantage uh, in power shots landed there. Our CompuBox numbers in the sixth, and it was it was evident that he had the best round of this fight for him. Uppercuts from Soto as Antion continues to pour on the pressure. Look at the pace, Nick. It just, oh, it just doesn't slow down. And Soto, the 30-year-old with 62 fights, has not had a break. Soto trying to keep him off with the jab. Forget about it. Antion is right in the wheelhouse. Lead right hands from Antion and Black. Right in front of us is the champion. He'll spin off the ropes. And he's doing a great thing. He's, he's just snapping those punches. He's waiting to see what Urbano's going to do. He'll try to counter him. Urbano's doing a perfect fight. Yep. Going forward, throwing punches, working to the body, making a dirty fight, which he needed to do. And Soto is using the ring now. He's slid sliding along the ropes. Now he's in the center of the ring, trying to get active. That cut, blood flowing right eye of Urbano Antion once again. This is where Urbano shouldn't be, and that's in, inside the next to the ropes because you know what that's when Urbano puts his weight on and he puts his face and or the top of the head on top of the face of Roberto Soto. And Soto's so low he wasn't in position to punch and land that time and Antion is leaning in and really putting on physical physical yeah. punishment he's laying the, it on. He's using the strength Nick he's using his strength. Look at him push Roberto around up against the ropes. He's shouldering him to the ropes and landing blows. Yes. Hey, it's just a draining there. draining oh, fight. But well, here comes Good Soto body, back so, as he pumps a double hook to the body. And the champion is in with, with a very difficult opponent, okay? Oh, yes. I mean, Urbano, he's, I've seen him training, and he, he trains to 110%. He's been caught up to work with Manny Pacquiao, so he's been in there with some great, great... He's going to have to use it, Gennaro, and we know that, uh, that he's not a slug. Oh, right hand that kind of hurt him. That as Soto really begins to Another come back big. Right there. Soto now on the jab, looks to line up that right hand. Antion wipes the blood away, forgets about the jab, and he slips there. But he was open now with that slip, and Soto now bodies him and starts to take a free shot as he slugs to the body and creases Antion with a left hook. Oh, what a right hand by Roberto. Oh, and a left. All these free shots as Antio has stopped punching with the volume we saw just seconds ago. So Soto comes back big here in the seventh to take it. Can it go? Oh, what a, what a combination by Roberto Soto. Yeah, what a. That's what a champion. Look at the up. legs. Look at the legs over here on, on Urbano. Well, let's listen in. Unfortunately, you 
Relax, relax. He's ready. With your, with your boxing, with your rhythm, with the boxing. He's sticking his head forward, so what you do is throw, throw that jab and pick him up with the right uppercut. And if you're going to throw that body shot to the, with the left hand, come back with the right uppercut. It's just a half step back, and you have it fixed. He's ready. He's ready. You know, how, about, how about this final minute punch, CompuBox numbers? 25 connects for Soto in the final minute. So he was on fire. It has just been a sizzling fight between these two. Ray Corona going to take the challenger over to the doctor to look at it. You know, I thought I saw in those last 15 seconds Antion really begin to give ground for the first time. And I was saying a minute and a half earlier, is there any sign that the champion's starting to wilt slightly? But man, did he turn it up full blast. I mean, he worked his left hand so beautiful at the end of the round that uh, it hurt. It hurt Urbano. They want her by, they want to. Uh, oh, what a flip. They want Soto to go to the body, but they want to line up for Antion for that uppercut. And they want Soto to work off the jab, but Antion comes in, blasting with a right hand and eats an uppercut Once for his in. work. Soto, left hand, little hook. Is the uppercut there? He's inside, but Soto now getting bodied around. Soto backs off, trying to get on the jab again. And you know, before the bell rang to start this round, they both kind of say something to each other from the schools. Oh, oh. I'd love to know what. I was just about to write Antion off, and then he landed that combination up against the ropes. Soto staying very composed. Look, he's standing in front of Antion and not getting hit. He's the guy dealing out the punishment. He's quicker handed inside. No, no. That's the difference, Rich. That's a big difference here. Just amazing for a guy with 62 fights. He just seems to be getting better. But he's in a... He's in a major league struggle with Urbano Antheon. Blood streaming from the right eye. The challenger continues to plow forward, looking to land those power shots. Humberto's able to create some distance in this round, though, a little bit, and I think he's getting control of the ring. Well, he's Go actually work, doing work, it, but... But Urbano, who is not giving up, he continues going forward. He takes some good shots. An he uppercut. takes some good punishments. That uppercut has been devastating, but yet he continues going forward. He's not stopping. But uh, Antion not landing enough. I tell you, you'd have a tough time finding a fight where the uppercut was more pronounced in terms of its effect well, on a fight. And that's and, what we're know, doing tonight. And the, the textbook is that half step back, catch a guy leaning, catch him reaching, and that's what he's done. Well, Antion in black, and look at the champion trying to land the uppercut again. And Urbano is just wasting energy trying to wrestle. He shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, and he's not winning this round either, in my opinion, and running on a clock soon, where he's going to need a knockout. No, 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 no. Take a step back, you boss. You got to stop for the bell. Combination to end the round by Roberto Soto. Let me tell you something. Soto hasn't been stopped in 10 years, guys. So the longer it goes, hey, here's a good sign. I got blood on my notes here. So <laughs> it's we pretty know, well splattered around. We know, we know the kind table. of fight it is. And Soto has scored a number of knockouts in the second halves of fights, later on in fights. And that's when uh, Antion suffered his only loss. But Soto stopped in uh, 2000 uh, in 11 rounds. That's his last and only stoppage in a 62 fight career that he suffered. Get the distance, close in, and counter him. Get him with the left hook. I think they've had a real good grasp of things over in Soto's corner today. Yeah, Romulo Carate Jr. Doing an excellent job, keeping it simple enough. 
As uh, Soto has stayed on message beautifully, and like a real champion, kept his composure with some real oven heat on him from the opening bell. Here comes Antheon in black, and you see total punches through eight. But Soto's connect rate looks like a headbutt. Soto didn't like it. It's Soto was claiming that he got hit with an elbow. He's pawing at his left uh, left damn eye. He's got to deal with it though. Yeah, in a yeah, fight, in a right, fight anything happens. Anything happens in a fight, and the referee doesn't say it. It's all legal. Has has Antion taken a backward step all night? No matter how many times he's gotten hit, he continues to hold ground. Just a, just that one time at the end of, I think it was the uh, sixth round in the last 15 seconds, he kind of stepped back a few steps. As you, yes, you're right. Boy, look at Soto. Work, work. Antion using his head inside there too. Rough stuff. Left hook and Soto. Good straight to the right hand to the body by Ravon. I yes. think Soto yeah. felt that one. Soto yeah, trying yeah. to pick off the punches and stem the flow of this attack, but he's getting hit a lot here right in a good ninth hip. round for the challenger. I thought I saw Soto take a real deep breath after he got hit with that body. He did, shot. he did. And look at the power. I mean, we'd look at Antion unloading those left hooks and now the right uppercut. He's really throwing some mean shots. He is still in this fight. He has still got power. I would agree. Soto is standing right there. It seems he could be hit, but not. This is what you call determination to be, to be a world champion. Absolutely. Bono has determination to try to win this fight tonight. But Soto has the steel inside of him to withstand any kind of pace and any kind of heat and win the majority of rounds so far. But so this, far, yes, but this has been the challengers. Like you said, Nick, so far. But it actually shows that Urbano is actually able to manhandle him now and push and push and push. But we got to wait and see whether that <laughs> that punching power stop, stop. of, of Soto is actually going to take a toll as well. Half minute to go in the ninth. I know you're enjoying this one. Top rank pay-per-view from Anaheim, California. And Soto opens up now on the challenger. I had just about put this round in the bank for Antion. <laughs> he better do something. <laughs> and then Soto came on. The I would still give it to the challenger Wait, shakily. <laughs> 10, 11, and 12 coming up. Don't go away. We're waiting to the fight. Breathe. All the punches you're doing, you're doing it perfect. You're, you're stopping him on his steps. Very, very close here, okay? Uh, this is very, very close. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Abel Sanchez with maybe motivation not needed. This is very, very close, this fight. Let's go. And you know Urbano knows it. Antion, let's see what he opens up with. Soto, the champion, holding on right away. Stop! Tempo! Take a step back. Well, you still see Urbano trying to muscle and, and just do whatever he can to get in there and make it a fight where he's going to benefit him. Right uppercut from uh, Soto landed, as does a left, as Antion, with all his aggression, is being it's being used against him there very early here in the 10th. Second take down of the fight. Let's go, get up. Get up. Get up. That takes something a little out of a fighter. When you get thrown down like that and you hit the oh, canvas kind of hard, you saw how slowly he got up each oh, time. Look at him now. Yeah, the physicality of right. Let's go. My thing is that, you know what? Take your time, get up. It's wasting his time. Urbano's wasting his time no, no, no. Stop, because stop. he's actually losing the fight. And by the, him throwing him down, Umberto could take a sweet time and lose seconds out of this round. Yeah. 
Antion knows only one way, and that's forward. And he's trying to blast his way through to a championship. On the inside, Soto trying to create distance and run the challenger into shots, and he's doing it effectively. And Antion got tangled up in the ropes, almost a little show of fatigue, it seemed. Well, he threw a punch, and he, he knew it was off balance, and he missed, so he landed up against the ropes, where Humberto Soto actually tried to take advantage of that. And those jabs are landing from the challenger. Some taken out of the champion, some taken on the gloves of Antion. Antion, pure power shots now, as he sinks a hook, digs a right cross to the body, and comes up top. Again, digging to the body. And look at the head, look at the head of Urbano. He's utilizing it very well. Yeah, Soto He's in there. Soto, a low blow there, another low blow there. Yeah, Soto trying to fight the challenger off. He's in the corner now. Still very composed, but here comes Antion with another bull rush. Walking into shots, though. Taking some on the gloves, but some are landing from Soto. Right low, low blow right there. What a low blow right there. And Antion again, getting very mean and rough Take inside. Back. Take a step back. That's what you got to do. You got to you got to make this fight like that. If that's the way it's going to take it to win. Yes. He's going to take. He's going to have to do that. You know, Nick. You asked earlier, can they do it for 12 like this? <laughs> They've done it for 10. <laughs> Antion blood streaming down his right eye. He's taking a lot of shots now. The champion is getting through with those. Antion. Oh, he's in trouble. He's, he's hurt. Trouble. He's, he's hurt. in trouble. Can he get out of the round? Five seconds to go. And he's backed up for the first time since the sixth. He'll get out of the round, but he is wobbling as they go back to the corners with two rounds to go. What an exciting fight, huh? Great fight. Urbano, this here are the corners here. He needs a knockout, guys. What is this? Come on, man. Come with your hands down. We gotta keep working, okay? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at that action. Soto, watch the precise punching. Straight punches coming right up the middle. There's the uppercut we've talked about all night. And there you see Antion give way, right there. Soto knew it. He, he immediately jumped on him. His instinct was, I've got this guy ready to go. And Antion was ready to go. Another 30 seconds, and he might have been out of there. Let's see his recuperative powers here. He took a beating there down the stretch in 10. And Antion will see how fast either guy's off the stool. They got six furious minutes to go, and we could bank on that. Nobody is going to try to coast home here. Power punches through 10. Soto, 266 connects of 474. Antion, 215, 588 power punches. Oh, and it's Soto on the jab again. Antion, full of energy. It's like he got, like he got filled up. Uh, his tank got filled up. In that I'm minute, not, we'll see. I'm glad I'm not counting the punches tonight, Nick. <laughs> Antion swelling up, but who cares? He doesn't. He's coming on. There's a lot of steam taken out of his shots. He doesn't seem to have the power on his punches, but he is landing, and Soto isn't punching back effectively. But that's what Soto did in the, uh, the last round as well. You know, he, he wasn't doing as much. He was seeing that Antion or Urbano was actually going forward, and now you can see the devastating punches that Soto is actually landing that eventually are taking his toes because if you see the legs of Urbano, yeah, they're, they're not as out. strong or as steady as they were before. I agree. Uh, something's been taken out of Antion, and it's Soto's head, absolute precise head. punching and that lack of panic Stop, to come punch, back punch. and score and win these rounds. In the 11th, under five minutes to go, and you don't want to blink in this one. Urbano Antion challenging for work, guys, work. Umberto go, go, Soto's go, go, go. WBC lightweight world back. title. Look at look at Antion. He is going to leave it all in the ring, baby. He's starting to look exhausted. Yeah, every time I think that, it's when he usually <laughs> lands a left hook to drive Soto into the ropes. And here, I believe here is where 
Humberto Soto starts loosening up his hands. Well, yeah, right in the middle of the ring. This is. Oh, you heard him right there with that hook. He's got some distance there, though. Yes, this is where he wants he, to be. In the other rounds, he couldn't get that distance. That left hook stung Urbano. His legs wobbled. He's right in the middle of the ring. This is perfect for Soto yeah. as the champion lets his hands go. And Antion just pawing, pawing in desperation as uh, Gennaro alluded to. His legs seem a little stop, shaky. Stop, stop. No, 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 no. And there's not as much steam on his punches. This is a challenger in desperation mode. Oh, work, Jeremy, work. Not taking a step back. Soto on the ropes as he ties up or fails to tie up the champion, oh, yeah. uh, the challenger effectively. Soto in red is getting hit in these exchanges and out of them. And he seems to be taking more and much more than he wants. Wow. I don't believe it. What a comeback by Antion. You can't both, light this guy off. Both guys look almost spent here no, no, as we no, no, close no. out the 11th. And there's blood dripping from Antion's eye. What a fight, man. This is it. This is what it's all about. And their faces say it all. And the look of exhaustion and the exuberance in the crowd with one round to go as we go to the corners. You're the world champion. Let's move, let's move, let's get out and move. One more time. Water. Eyes on his head. Deep breath. Deep breath. Here we see that uppercut that I thought kind of kind of made Urbano kind of lose a little bit of his strength on the legs as you see he wobbled a little bit. Yeah, I thought the war of attrition was catching up with Antion, but look at the way he just slung he him just to the ropes back. Yeah, and with that strength of his. And then it looked like the war of attrition was having its effect on Soto at the end of the round. And Antion, uh, according to CompuBox numbers, had the connect yeah. advantage in that round. Who'd you give that 11th to? Oh, wow, look. You wasted a couple to of Antion. seconds, Urbano, come on. I gave that last round to Antion. And Antion's got to win this round, or he's got to score a knockout, in my opinion. But we'll see. Here we see punch stats through 11. It has been a blistering pace, start to finish. Depending on the judges, this fight is close, okay? Because you never know what, what yes. the judge is like. So to me, in my well, opinion, this fight is very and it could be close. The point deduction may be the big difference. That could know? be it. I believe Soto is ahead in this fight. I believe so. But, too. I'm, not, but I'm not counting out Urbano Antion. Absolutely. Even now. You know, even though he's been hurt the most, he's actually been the fighter that's actually been going forward and trying to work this fight the whole 12 rounds. Oh, he almost lost his footing right there. You know, out there for Soto, if he can survive this and win this fight, he's a bigger money fight against Brandon Rios in February. And uh, listen, if Antion wins, I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to see he and Rios as well. Here comes Antion. To tell you the truth, you have to wonder if either of these guys would want to fight again in eight weeks. I mean, that's about all it is. Isn't but it? you know the hard thing here with that point deduction, you've got to say that Antion, to even get, to be close in this fight, has had to have, have win on, seven rounds of this fight. That's a tall order. I can't see that right no. now, Rich. Uh, the champion, though, is fighting very well. definitely Hit in a movie. Hit it a movie. Boxing a movie. He's fighting in spurts, yeah, and by using his boxing. And Urbano's slow on the turn, Antion, so he'll walk into some shots there again. And a good left hook by Urbano, right? The good jab, good, good right hand by Urbano. Like Benny continues to go forward. Good and thing he didn't, he didn't get held on right there. Antion with a lot of chopping blows, not a lot of clean lands. And Soto, the boxer here, inside a minute to go in this fight. Antion has plowed forward for probably 35 of the 36 minutes. Remember, the point deduction for the low blow, Antion could be the difference, but Soto has never lost his composure in this fight. How brave, how spirited, how willful, Let's, how noble have these two guys been. And you know what? We deserve to just let them finish on their own. Let's listen in. What a 
great, exciting fight. fight. To the finish. That was really a thrilling fight. And you know, Soto's little flurry there had Ante on very shaky there as we finished that fight. And enough to win that 10th round. You know, I solidly have the champion winning. Waiting for the decision. You know, it's, it's meaningless how we scored it, but I had uh, Soto a clear winner. I remember the point deduction wasn't helping Antion, but for pure heart, Antion scores 100 in everybody's book here. He never stopped trying and always seemed to be a combination away from taking Soto's title. As we look at the power package here, what a display of give and take. Umberto Soto defending his title, he hopes, against Urbano Anteon. As we oh see God. Soto pot shotting, catching Anteon on the way in beautifully with these shots, catching him leaning, the uppercut, the big story. Anteon now a mask of blood, and it's Soto fighting in spurts, maybe stealing some rounds, but Anteon continues to barrel forward, and the rough stuff never stopped. He never stopped punching. You know, what you don't see are a lot of body shots that he landed on the champion. He put some hurt on him, but look at Soto. Every flurry was meaningful there, and a big show of respect, of course, as it as you would expect. Umberto Soto, Urbano Antillon. Soto's WBC lightweight title is on the line. And the crowd with a round of applause for both true warriors as we wait for the decision. And Michael Buffer has the official word now. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Honda Center, Anaheim, California, this was one hell of a lightweight world championship fight and a round of applause for challenger and champion. We go to the scorecards. Alejandro Rochin scores it 114-113. Marty Denkin, 115-112. Alan Krebs has it 114-113 to the winner by unanimous decision, and still WBC lightweight champion of the world, Umberto Zorita Soto. So this one, a lot closer than a lot of us thought, but everybody got their money's worth here. And uh, Umberto Soto with a wonderful display of championship boxing holds off a tough, determined Urbano Antion. 
Rich Murata is with the uh, winner now. Congratulations, Umberto and Ricardo Jimenez will translate for us. Was this your hardest fight? Sí, sabíamos que era una pelea muy dura, nos preparamos lo mejor. Y yo creo que la gente que asistió fue la gente que ganó. Muchísimas gracias a toda la gente que asistió a ver esta pelea, esta gran pelea. I think tonight the winners here were the fans. I think there was a great fight. Both of us gave our hearts out. He never stopped coming at you, Umberto. Nunca te dejó, siempre prometí. Sí, sabíamos que la pelea se iba a hacer y trabajamos fuerte lo que son los pasos laterales. We knew about it. We knew he was going to come at us all night. That's why we had to work on our boxing. The uppercut seemed to be a great weapon for you tonight. Did you think going into the fight that that would be the case? El uppercut muy muy bueno toda la pelea. Pensaste que será clave del triunfo. Claro que sí. Siempre nos preparamos con ese golpe porque sabíamos que le hacía mucho castigo. We knew that was going to be the key to work on that. We worked on it real hard in the training camp and knew it was going to be there. I know that you like to be a technician in the ring, and I like then to show your technique. But tonight, because of the way that Urbano fought, you had to fight, just flat out fight. Y se te gusta tú la técnica de mostrar lo que sabes del boxeo, pero esta noche te hicieron pelear y peleaste. Claro que sí, así se ganan las peleas. Eh, hay que seguir las indicaciones de la esquina. Hicimos el trabajo excelente como me lo mandó. You know what? Sometimes you have to fight, and the corner told me yes, go fight back, and that's what we did. You were hitting him with so many clean punches in close, especially with the uppercuts. Did you think that he would sooner or later give way? Lo ganaste también muchas varias veces. Pensaste que se iba a terminar la pelea. No, fíjate que no. Sabíamos que Antillón era un gran peleador fuerte y que resistía mucho castigo. You know what? I never expected that. I knew he was going to take everything I had, and that's why I had to keep working. Promoter Bob Aram is just to your left here. Bob, I don't know when we've seen that much courage, bravery, action all rolled up into one fight. Well, you know, we knew that these two guys were warriors. We knew what a great, great fight that they would put on. And when we're allowed to do our own fights, which we do because this is our own show, we will give the audience the best fights that they can see. You know, we don't have to go through network executives who know very little and think they know what constitutes a good fight. We know what constitutes a good fight. We knew going in this would be a great fight, and both guys proved to be tremendous warriors. Well, they covered themselves with glory, the both of them. There's no question about that. Now, Umberto is uh, penciled in for a, a February fight with uh, Brandon Rios. Does that look like it? I could take these three guys, Soto, Antion, and uh, Rios, and have them fight each other for the next two years, and they would give the audience really some beautiful, beautiful fights. All right, one final question, Umberto. Now, do you look forward to February with Rios? You'll be ready to fight. This was a very hard fight. You feel good about that still? Crees que febrero sea muy pronto para ti o sea una pelea muy? Sí, la verdad muy rápido. Hay que descansar. Estuvimos muy este año muy activo y hay que descansar. You know, it's been a very tough year for me. I had four fights. This tough fight was really tough. I think uh, February seems a little too soon for me. Okay. Yeah, we can change. So, uh, that may very well be, and we want him to be at his full strength. So if he needs another month, there's no problem. Okay, well, we'll see how that develops. But uh, you deserve a vacation. Congratulations, Umberto. A great, great victory Thank tonight. You. Muchas gracias. And now I want to bring in the challenger, a gallant warrior, Urbano Antion. Urbano, if there's such a thing as a glorious uh, defeat, this would be it. A congratulations on a fantastic fight here tonight. You know what? I don't feel defeated at all. Yeah. I mean, I came out here, gave my bet, and um, I thought, I, you know, I prepared myself and gave it all my all. It seems like the, the, pro the crowd is pretty happy with, with, the, with the fight, so we're all winners here. Right. Now, I know that you and Abel, you planned out uh, that you wanted to be on him for 12 rounds. Yeah. and that So you were actually carrying out your game plan the way that you wanted, did you not? Uh, I wasn't lying to you guys. I mean, I said what I was going to do, and that's what I did. Right. So I would have loved to be a little bit closer at times than not let him uh, get his punches off, but... But you know what, we're, we're good, and I hope uh, I'll be deserving of a rematch at least. Did so, so well, Bob? Wait a second, because Fernando just got a hold of me. Uh, Vasquez, the other lightweight champion, 
is available. So what we're going to do is when Brandon Rios fights Soto, you'll fight Vasquez, and then we'll keep this thing going. Miguel Vasquez, teeth that A for the other title. Yes. yes, right. How does that sound? Sounds good, but you know what? My dream would be WBC champion, so that's what well, I'm going to go after. Well, you beat Vasquez, <laughs> then you fight the winner of Rios and Soto. <laughs> Urbano, you got you, you put on a, such a great show here though tonight. Congratulations. That was was Soto any different than you expected? Did you did you get the fight that you expected from him? No, we, we expected exactly what it was. But like I said, I, the only thing I would love to change was not let him get his punches uh, off on the outside and and uh, you know maybe either hug or, or press forward or throw a combination to stop it. But you know it's like I let off a couple of times and did it toward the end. But but it's okay. Well, we, we, we did what we could and what we planned to do. Well, you came close, and thank you very much for a tremendous fight. I know boxing fans all over the world thank you for what you put out there tonight. Oh, to, to everybody, man. You know what? I was never supposed to be here. Uh, since the beginning of my career, uh, me, a world champion, it was not supposed to happen. So everybody out there, don't, don't let anybody tell you otherwise, man. You do what, what you have in heart and, and go after it. Well, your career is not over, so, to, so don't worry about that. You know, it sounds like there's going to be another shot. Thank you very much, Urbano. Uh, thank you, man. And, and we have to break here quickly, but I just want to get a quick word from uh, Bob uh, because we had the we had the uh, future uh, basically looked at with uh, Humberto Soto. But what about Nonito Donaire, who was sensational again here this evening? Well, we're looking forward to February 19th in in Las Vegas at Mandalay Bay, where he'll fight uh, Nonito will fight Montiel on HBO and. Uh, uh, then we're doing the rematch of that great fight with Mike Jones and Jesus Soto Carras. Right. And Mikey Garcia, another step forward tonight. Oh, boy, he's going to be great, that kid. Uh, we got a lot of great fighters. I mean, you know, my matchmakers know how to pick them. Well, I tell you, it was a tremendous show here tonight. Thank you, Bob, for that. And th uh, let's go back down to ringside now with Gennaro and Nick Charles once again. And, you know, Gennaro, one of the things I'm most grateful for is that Urbano Antion, regardless of I thought he, he lost by a wider margin, it was that close, that he's getting a title shot next. I mean, I think that's fabulous. They just made it in the ring. And then we see Soto's going to fight Rios, of course. What a doubleheader that is. Well, you know, Urbano came out here and he proved to the world that, you know, he belonged here against Soto. He, he fought his heart out. He appreciated the fact that, you know, he got the opportunity that he didn't think he was going to get. He lived up to the expectation. I mean, it was a great fight to win this, to win this the year. A draining fight, but again, champions rise to the occasion, and Humberto Soto did everything he had to do to hold on to his lightweight championship tonight here in Anaheim, California. So recapping the night at the Honda Center, it began with Pavel Bolak having to get off the deck in the second run. He had to climb off the floor to stop Mexican Jose Pinzon in seven. And then Oliver Lanchi comes from Canada to take on hotshot Miguel Angel Garcia. Mikey Garcia on the fast track to a featherweight championship pulls the plug on the on, uh, Lanchi in five. No Nito Donaire with a fourth round blowout of Vladimir Sidorenko. Three knockdowns inside four rounds, a masterful display of speed, power, and overall skill. And then, as Donaire sails to victory, we saw the wind-up title fight. Antion with rough tactics, low blows, but a lot of skill coming forward. Had the champion on the run several times, but Soto flurried at the right time. Fox kept his distance, landed power shots, created and found the openings when he had to, and pile up just enough points to win a unanimous decision and leave us feeling that we want to see both of them again. And so we'll wrap it up here from the Honda Center for Rich Morata, Gennaro Hernandez. I'm Nick Charles. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Top Rank Pay-Per-View.